The Tongva Hills is known for its beautiful landscapes, rural houses, and of course, its wine. But when the sun goes down and the clocks hit midnight, the Tongva Hills are known for something a little more sinister. This something has been reported to be small, fast, and very dangerous. A creature simply known to us as the Tongva Hills creature. But is this a myth, or could it be real? I'm here to find out. The Tongva Hills are located next to the Tongva Valley in Blaine County. This creature is said to be one of several cryptids that are believed to be in GTA 5. Although this creature's appearance has not been reported in detail, it has been suggested on many occasions to resemble creatures such as the Jackal and even the Chupacabra. On a stormy or snowy night, when the clocks hit midnight, it is believed that there is an increasingly high chance you will see such a monster. To find out if this is all true, I will launch an investigation in the Tongva Hills at midnight in an attempt to witness this creature. So here I am, I'm just chilling out at the uh, the Marlow Vineyards uh, mansion, I guess it is. And I've been spending some time here just chilling out, looking over the lovely view. It's a little bit foggy today, but uh, we'll, we'll get over it. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look around the Tongva Hills. Um, just see if we can get an idea of how big the place is. You know, just see if there's any cool little areas we can investigate in tonight's investigation. Um, but it's quite a big place, it's, it's all the way up there. and. I, I mean, I've, I've been walking around this mansion for a little while now, my legs are all tired out. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to use... Ah, here it is! <laughs> thought I lost it for a second. This little baby. It's a... I don't know. It's a bike. So we're going to be using this bike, we're going to have a quick ride around and take a look at the place. So let's get on with it. Okay, we're going up this way to make sure it's safe. Yeah, we're good, we're good. So we're heading up the Tongva Hill is now. It's, uh, it's quite the climb as you can see. Holy crap, here we are. Look how many birds there are. Wow. There's loads of them. Okay, so apparently there's wild animals up here as well. We've got some birds. We've got some rabbits. We've got some coyote fox things. This place is full of wildlife. There's one thing we're gonna need to make note of is the amount of animals running around here. We don't want to mistake any uh, any foxes for any any creatures creatures of the night. Wow, look at that view. We're at the top of the hill right now, and we can see everything. Wow. There's a little lake down here. Maybe we can see some footprints of any uh, unusual creatures. Maybe we should take a look at this tonight. When we come down, <gasps> splash in the water. This is definitely an area we need to check out tonight. Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that a boar? Or it looks like a buffalo. I'm actually gonna get off my bike. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a boar. They're literally all the animals are here. I don't think I've... That's a funny looking boar. Whoa. Is that like a little... Looks like a cave up there. It might just be a very, very dark rock. Whoa, no way, dude. What could this be for? Why is this here? This is, this is definitely somewhere we need to come back tonight. 
So, we know the top's up that way. We know if we head to this area, there's this big split down the middle with this river. Um, I definitely think we need to go back to that cave that we spotted earlier and just see if anything's there. What we need to do now is we need to head back to the lab, we need to get our gear and drive back out here. What we're going to try and do is find a night where it's rainy or snowy or stormy and come and investigate then because supposedly there's a higher chance of spotting this, this very unusual creature. We're going to head back now and we're going to prepare for our night investigation, so let's get on with it. So we are here currently at the Vineyard Mansion, we're just chilling out for a moment, waiting for that midnight to come so we can go up and take a look. It is a stormy night like we've planned, and um, you, can, you can probably hear all the storms, and you can probably see all the storms right now. So um, we're going to wait out until about 10 o'clock, and then we're going to head on out. We're going to take a little mooch around the place in the, uh, in the cold, but we're going to see if we can see anything while we're out there, and then when it hits midnight, we're going to take an even closer look around and um, see if we can see anything, basically. So we've got to head up all the way to the top of the hills here. Okay, so we're heading up the Tongva Hills right now. And we need to keep our eyes open just to see if we see anything before midnight. Okay, so there's there's a cougar over there. I think that's a cougar. It's hard to, it's hard to tell, actually, isn't it? Very much looks like a cougar. Keeping in mind here, we're looking for something that looks similar to a uh, to a jackal or a chupacabra. And you can hear the police down there. Oh, jeez. Looks like there's a car chase going on. Oh, boy, it's midnight. Okay. So now we need to keep our eyes open. It's midnight. There's a storm. This is prime time for seeing this elusive creature. Okay, I think I can see a cougar up I think that's a cougar up there. Or is it just a bush? Really hard to tell. Ah, the cave's right here. Okay, we're gonna go look inside. Holy crap, so this is the cave. And whatever's living in here can look outside like this.
Holy crap, I didn't even see that boar there. So there was a boar right there. Looks like the bad weather's actually heading off, and it's soon to be a glorious day. And we haven't really seen anything unusual. There's been lots of animals running around, but, but nothing, nothing too unusual. So let's head back to the van now. We can take a look at the footage that we've recorded and see if there's anything that we can see on the cameras that we didn't see ourselves. So let's head back because we're we're soaking wet and it's still raining. So let's head back. So after reviewing the footage, I didn't see anything questionable. There was nothing that we caught on camera that couldn't be explained. It was all either wild animals or it was thunder. There was nothing in the footage that I would question. So I went back on a different day when it was snowy and at midnight I got on a helicopter and I flew around just to see if there was anything else we could see. But once again, there was nothing, there was no evidence to say this creature even exists. So, is this creature real, or is it just a myth? Well, I can only say it's just a myth. There is no evidence here to prove or even explain any of the theories or the myths surrounding this creature. If you have a myth that you want me to investigate, please let me know in the comment section below. If you think there is a reason I should go back and investigate this investigation, also let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.